create super wheat. Others strive to change, if not shatter, traditional wheat farming practices. Say goodbye to fuel-sucking combines, toxic pesticides, and harmful fertilizers. How about no soil, no fertilizer, and 65% less water than conventional farming methods? This baby wheat, commonly called wheatgrass, contains 100% of the nutritional value of the plant. Unlike soil-based farming, this wheat contains more protein, more enzymes, vitamin B, zinc, and iron because the root system, seed, and shoot are all edible. It is grown using a farming method called aeroponics, a process developed by entrepreneur Richard Stoner. Working with the National Science Foundation, NASA, and a select group of scientists, Stoner is attempting to rethink how we grow food in order to feed an ever-increasing global population. Aeroponics is the process of growing plants in air in a nutrient-rich environment. Aeroponics is a soilless process, and the plants are suspended 100% in air, both at the root system and at the leaf surfaces of the plant and it's suspended in an aeroponic chamber, which then delivers a hydroatomized spray to the plants. It may not look like a Kansas wheat field, but this greenhouse has similar capabilities. The aeroponic process can grow wheat just like it can in the field. We can plant this entire tray and grow wheat all the way to harvest where we harvest the grain from the wheat. But what's the upside to the aeroponic system? It's not designed to replace traditional agriculture, but supplement the food supply and grow vital plants like wheat in places where crops usually aren't found. We can grow every day, 365 days a year, inside a climate control warehouse. Agrihouse's goal is to put systems everywhere we can and help reduce the carbon footprint. By increasing the amount of biomass per square foot basis, we can grow in densities that have been unheard of in the last 20 years. And so in that manner, we can supplement and increase the food supply for cities and metropolitans everywhere. The global population is estimated to reach over 9 billion by 2050. And there's growing concern about a viable food supply. Maybe this soilless system will alleviate some of that pressure because there is no single answer to the future of the world's food supply. Solving this future food crisis will require new innovation, intensive research, and determined farmers. But as in centuries past, wheat's resilience may well carry us through difficult times.